All right, what up, dudes? It's me, Rob, aka Fragrance of Dew, playing uh, Popper MTG against NKKN. We're gonna be doing that sweet little uh, suicide black that we've been talking about. All right, looking at the opener here, we do not have a land, so we cannot keep, unfortunately. Uh, if any of these were land, though, this hand would be the bomb. It would be great and unstoppable, and no one could ever possibly hope to beat it. But uh, unfortunately, we don't have a land, so going down to the old five. Uh, looking at this one, this hand is just as good. I will keep this hand. This hand is amazing. I would never mulligan this hand. This is the bottom of the library. We don't need it. We need another swamp. We can do the whole game without seeing another swamp ever again. Okay, so we're leaving this Carnophage, not going to Dark Ritual, just because uh, I don't feel like it. It feels like I'm wasting mana, you know? I don't want to do that. Uh, snuff out up. Our opponent has no idea. Snuff out's going to come out of nowhere and just destroy this guy. He has no chance. He doesn't even know he has no chance. It's sad, really. Look at him with his cool evolving wells. This is some sweet art, actually. I enjoyed this art quite a bit. Forest, huh? What could this possibly mean, dude? Evolving wilds into forest? Well, whatever, it doesn't matter. We're doing our own thing over here. We're not going to worry about him. See, that's the thing with Suicide Black. You don't need to worry about anything, because it's unstoppable. Uh, another swamp. That's uh, exactly what I was looking for. We're going to put Unholy Strength on our Carnophage. The massive 4-3 here. It's coming in. Coming in hot. Carnophage. He is slamming for three, four rather, four damage? That's a five turn clock, dude. Four after this. This guy's gonna have to think fast to deal with this carnophage here. Uh, meanwhile, snuff out in the wings, just waiting, just chilling out in my hand. Squee watched as Squee watches Chiron cousins fall with a mixture of sympathy and relief. He hates it, dude. Okay, so looks like we're uh, looking at the dredge deck. Uh, revealed were, yep, definitely the dredge deck. Acorn Harvest, what in God's name? That is some next level technology right there. I haven't seen anything like this before. It's nuts. It's crazy. What are you thinking, dude? All right. Uh, he cannot flash it back this turn, which is, which is good for me, but, uh, it is what, <laughs> I don't know. I got no idea, dude. All right. So, uh, looks like, oh, dude, sick. Predator's Gambit. All right. All right. All right. Now it is game on, dude. It is game on. We have our mighty 6-4 Carnophage. Unstoppable. Unstoppable. Three turn clocks and four turn clock to a three turn clock. We are winning this game. This guy is just seeing his hopes and dreams. Everyone he's ever loved. Every His whole life is passing before his eyes, and this is all he can do. He, nothing. He can do nothing but cry and hope that eventually it ends, but it's not gonna end, because Carnophage is coming in two turns, man. Can this guy spring back? I'm awaiting his acorn... Well, not even acorn harvest can save him, dude, because I got freaking Intimidate on this guy. He can't... How does this... This guy can't win. It must all be sinking in right now. I'm expecting the concession at any moment. I put two Unholy Strengths on a Carnophage. How can he win? Hitting the tank pretty hard here. I'm sure the concession is just a moment away. I have a 6-4, dude! He's got 6 power, dude! <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. I think I might have lagged out. He might have disconnected. Oh, he got the Stinkweed Imp back. That, uh... Oh, Wild Mongrel? Really? I would have just dropped the Stinkweed Imp. Like, he must have a plan here. He must have a plan. Gurmag Angler, are you kidding me? This deck is ridiculous. What a fucking broken card, dude. All right, I'm not worried about Gurmag Angler. I'm going to trade that for Carnophage. And see, this is where the Shadow Guys come in really handy, because uh, you don't have to worry about all this BS. My guy is Intimidate, but, like, this thing is black, dude! It's out of control, dude. Alright, uh, two options here. We can swing in. Hope he doesn't block. And hope he doesn't block again, <laughs> which is usually the best way to go. I believe he's going to block, though. I'm going to sign in blood targeting myself in case we draw anything super spicy. Like, uh, for instance, none of these cards. 
All right, we're just going to dress him. We're going to dress him right now, dude. We're going to take your best card, and we're going to kill you somehow. Okay, uh, hand looking pretty good. Golgari brown scale. And Stinkweed Imp. Hmm. I don't think... He managed to turn this unwinnable game around. And you know what? Kudos to this guy, because... Uh, <laughs> Carnophage... All right, he's not going to block. He can't block. He would trade if he blocked. You don't want to block? <laughs> All right, somehow he figured out the secret technology of blocking. Okay, we're conceding that one, you know. I know you're disappointed. I'm disappointed, too. But, uh, you know, we didn't even get to see the full power of Dark Ritual and all that jazz. Uh, against this guy, Duress seems... Oh, he scoops. I knew it, dude. God, our deck is so good, dude. Did you see that? All right, nice. Uh, that was the successful match one. Uh, that guy, he knew he had no chance. Uh, so anyway, uh, I'm I'm Rob, playing for Popper MTG, uh, a.k.a. Fragrance of Dew. Uh, and, uh, you know, catch me uh, for the next match, all right? Peace.